Okay, as promised, I'm going to show you how I did this. This is my board. They're talking upstairs. Okay, this is my board. It's a uh, PV, old PV actually, but man, this thing really works nice. It's got uh, it's got your sub channels, your sub outlets right there, and so on and so forth. My one of my studio monitors there, and what I unpackaged here, the USB hub with the individual USB sound card. That one keeps blinking, I'm not sure why, but this works really well. I'm running it through my laptop, through Adobe Audition, and since I only have one microphone set up, I'm gonna try to do this and show you how this works. Okay, so, I hooked up each individual one to the microphone in, and I made these cables that go to the unswitched sub outputs okay there's four of them there's four sound cards one two three four I ordered five but one of them didn't work so I don't think I'm gonna send it back I think I'm gonna crack it open and try to fix it because that's just who I am so anyway um, tracks four five six and seven I'll be utilizing for this because I'm using two and three for the output on my computer okay so uh, so I'll be moving this microphone from channel to channel so that's channels four, five, six, and seven. There we go. So I armed all the tracks to record. And I'm going to hit this. Okay, now, as you can see, my voice is coming through channel number one because I signed it. I'll show you how to sign these in just a second. Okay, switching. Next track, you can see my voice is coming through right there. Okay, next track. Okay, next track is coming through. As you can see, it is on track number three. Here we go. And finally, track number four. And as you can see, a little bit of noise on each individual track, but I can fix that uh, by adjusting the gain controls on each mic. So that's how that works. Now let me go ahead and pause this, back it up, and I'll go ahead and play each one. Okay, now, as you can see, my voice is coming through channel number one because I signed it. I'll show you how to sign these in just a second. Okay, so you're hearing a little bit of uh, buzz there, but I think by, I can adjust Next that track. by adjusting the you gain can control. See my voice is coming through right there. Okay. Next track. Yeah, that whistle is really annoying, but as you can see, it does work. Okay, next track is coming through, as you can... Now, you can get rid of that simply by highlighting this, going through, I believe it's effects, yeah, going through effects, you do your noise reduction, capture noise reduction profile, it's going to capture it. After that's done... You go through again, effects, whoops, effects, noise reduction, noise reduction, um, yeah, select entire track or file, hit OK, this is what happens, so you can get rid of that annoying little thing that's going on there, alright, so, this is what it would sound like. Okay, next track is coming through. As you can see, it is on track number three. Here we go. You can see that annoying little is missing. So that works. Now here's how you assign the individual tracks. So there are my USB hub uh, and my USB sound cards right there. So what you do is Adobe Audition, you go to uh, like the input here. And you see they're all signed right there. You just select the one you want and hit OK. Number two, which actually is USB number three. Okay, and so on and so forth. And that's how you sign the individual ones. So I wanted to put this video on YouTube just to show you guys how you could go ahead and create this. I'm sure there's a better way to get a more quality sound, maybe a better sound card, anything like that. But for the novice like me who just wants to maybe come up with some demos or something like that, this is not, whoops, this is not a bad setup. Okay, so anyway, 
talk to you guys in a little bit. Subscribe. Uh, make some comments down below if you've got some better ideas. I'm always open to some new ideas, some fresh ideas, and hopefully I'll have a guitar review for you real soon. Uh, this is Greg Allen. Talk to you later. Bye.